prerequisite for the UReply Plus Classroom package is that the robot is in the classroom and UReply Plus has been activated. Please identify yourself. Now the user has to identify himself via his QR code. I just recognized the QR code. Please wait. Your code is verified successfully. Welcome, Jürgen. After successful identification, one has to select one's class and within the class, the particular package. Then the robot takes over. Please take up your mobile devices and go to the website. You reply dot mobi. Attention please, today's session ID is capital R. Nine, two, five, seven, again, capital R. Nine, two, five, seven. Welcome to the Morphology and Syntax class. Since we have met before, we can start without any further delay. I will first ask you some questions. Then we will analyze the text in various ways. And as usual, I will check your analysis with a control question. Here is the first question. What do you understand by degree of synthesis? Now the students have one minute time to answer this question. Keep in mind there are only 30 seconds left to vote. Time to take a look at your work. The inflectional complexity is measured by dividing the number of morphs by the number of words. And that is normally a value of one or higher. Now there is time for further explanations by the human coach. Here is another question. Which of the following words is an acronym? Again, one minute to answer the question. You still got 30 seconds to submit your vote. And again, time for further explanations. Well then, class, time is up now. Well, it is the first one because it is a pronounceable abbreviation. The other options are either non-pronounceable like IBM or they are abbreviated compounds like Brexit or simple names like my own name, Yuki. And again, time for further explanations. Please analyze the following text morphologically. Calculate the degree of synthesis. Work out all derivatives and find out which words underwent morphographic changes. Depending on the complexity of the task, the students have 10 or more minutes time to finish their research. Here is some advice. The degree of synthesis is below 1.5. Such advice will reoccur in predefined time intervals. Let me help you on morphographemic changes. The text contains examples of continental doubling and e deletion. Again, the robot comes up with a hint. Here is an idea about derivatives. The word telescreen is a new classical compound. As usual, during question answering, the human coach may help. You still got 30 seconds to finish the task. Let's check your work with the following three control questions. Number one, what is the degree of synthesis? Now the students have one minute time to answer this question. Oh, time flies. 30 seconds left. If you still haven't answered, do it now. Let's see your work. The degree of synthesis is 1.2. Time for support 
Advice and Explanations by the Human Coach. Next question. Which derivatives can be found in the text? Hurry up, you only got 30 seconds left. Many of you have submitted answers to me. Here are the derivatives. Visualizer, over fulfillment, nine, simultaneously. Time for further explanations by the human coach. My last question for me for you today is, Type in a word that underwent consonantal doubling. If needed, the coach will help. Only 30 seconds left. In case you haven't voted yet, now is the time. There are a lot of votes. Here is the solution. The word transmitted underwent consonantal doubling. And again, the coach can add more explanations. Now some final explanations can be added before the classroom package is terminated. Thanks for working with me and see you soon. Now I hand over to my boss, Jürgen Huntker. Big thanks also to the CLEAR team in Hong Kong who did a great job in developing the Uriply platform.